traditional way of teaching involves taking a lecture class for more than 60 minutes for a large group of students. This had the tendency of dividing the class into the studious first benches and the attention deficient band lectures. In 2015, we in the Department of Pedagogics decided to address the drawbacks of the large group lecture. Hence, we introduced the small group lectures and activity based learning. One teacher had only 15 to 20 students to concentrate on and this led to concentrating each and every one of the students in the class. A 20 minute lecture was followed by a 10 minute activity. In this the activity based learning, the students learned the subject through a large number of games which might involve clay molding, role modeling, charting and many other. In the year 2016, iBooks and flip classes were introduced. iBooks and flip classes were based on the idea of giving each student a crisp and clear insight about the subject. Each topic was condensed into a 4 minute video. This helped the students in understanding the subject better. Also they could use this iBooks and flip classes anywhere, anytime. They could listen to these videos and classes even if they are on the move. This became popular among the students for last minute revision before the exams as well. Books are given in hands and the contents are taken from one of the books. So we have a content compressed in a single book so it's very easy for us to read. And since there are very good pictorial representations in the videos, we are able to understand the topic much better. The feedback that we received about the changes made in the academic curriculum made us look in all directions to motivate our students. So in 2017, we introduced the documentation of clinical cases, which involves taking a series of photographs done by the students in their respective clinics. It is in a particular sequence which helps the students to evaluate and re-evaluate their cases and as well make them stand ahead apart from others and also serves as a proof for their clinical skills. Talking about Savita Dental College and its clinical exposure in pediatric dentistry it is extremely unique as it focuses on all aspects of the course. It equips us with all the skills required to face the real world. The teaching is extremely student-centered with the apt use of technology. There is 20 minutes of lecture class and there is 10 minutes of activity. There is also implementation of one-word questions in the examination which helps the students to prepare for the neat entrance examination in a very clear-cut manner. The students work hard and achieve big in their research, academics and clinics. College initially I had fear to speak in front of a crowd and also lack confidence as well. Uh, the staff of the Department of Pedodontics encouraged and supported me to present a poster and paper in platforms like uh, Star Summit and Showcase. Uh, this helped me gain more confidence and also overcome my fear. When I joined MDS, we were doing something called as a conventional preclinical exit, which was very time consuming. And then we will not be able to apply it directly on the patient immediately after the procedure. When our postgraduate students were finding it difficult to do a preclinical exercise, we came up with something called as a PGCOM module. It is 
post graduate clinical orientation module this module is based on individual topics as prescribed by dental council of india in this module each staff member will sit and demonstrate the particular procedure in a small group which can facilitate a better learning for example for a space maintainer module it starts with the lab fabrication of space maintainer the indications and then it completes with patient insertion this helps in a patient and procedure centric learning PTCOM happens on everyday basis during which our staff gives us demo for every procedure in other colleges my fellow PGs do the preclinical work for almost 6 months and then continue with the clinical practice but in our curriculum we do a preclinical procedure in the morning hours and we will be evaluated for that and later we do the same procedure on the same day on different patients and then for that also we will be evaluated this gives us more confidence and thorough knowledge about the subject In the year 2017 we introduced a concept called credit course. Now what is this credit course? A set of topics are given to the postgraduate student wherein they can choose their own topic of interest. There will be a 3 day interactive session so that they not only gain knowledge about the their specialty department they also get to know what is happening in other department and gain the knowledge. We had a 3 days credit course in clinical hands on on uh, regenerative endodontics and faculties from various departments they came and gave their valuable insights. sites on this topic and as postgraduates were exposed to and we are being allowed to choose a number of interdisciplinary topics as credit courses which helps us in honing our clinical skills as well as helps us in improving our academics on attending this particular credit course on regenerative endodontics i had a better understanding on recent advances uh, taking place in endodontics and the three days credit course was very informative and also paved our way to enrich our knowledge and learning uh, we all had a very good time learning the tax and tricks of regenerative endodontics As we started our post graduation, we were asked to give a weekly test every Thursday afternoon. Initially, we found it very kiddish to uh, give test every uh, week, until we realized its importance uh, in the final examination, as it helped us to cover our vast syllabus by making us study it increments. It also helped me to overcome examination fear, and I have learned to manage my time efficiently while writing the examination paper. Now we are uh, actually interestingly studying for the weekly Thursday test. Our curriculum this year includes three theory days and three clinical working days. This has been really beneficial for us as we are able to apply our theoretical knowledge in our day-to-day -day clinical practice. This year our curriculum includes a semester system exam pattern where we are writing university exam every three months. So the topics that are included in our curriculum is divided into small portions where we are studying these topics in detail and are also discussing research. such articles related to it uh, so this has uh, helped in reducing our load and piling up topics for, uh, at the end of the year so we are studying throughout the year so we are really happy with the system the chance to visit griffith university in australia as a part of student exchange program for a period of 20 days attending guest lectures and also got to do interactive sessions with other staff and students of the university we got to discuss about the treatment plans the difference between their mode of treatment and ours We visited the various departments and the dental labs there, and also got a chance to work on Symodont. The Symodont was very helpful in increasing the precision of my work. It was very useful, and I would like to apply the things that I have learned there and to improve my clinical efficiency. national standards a department is the only one in the country to treat children up to 18 years of age this has enhanced the clinical expertise of our post graduates in various fields of pediatric dentistry hence we can see a constant increase in the number of orthodontic procedures done which includes growth modification fixed orthodontics and interceptive orthodontics and also we can see a constant increase in the number of endodontic procedures done inclusive of rcts mta biodentin apexification regeneration post and core and so on usually we've been following a conventional root canal preparation wherein we use hand files for canal preparation of the primary teeth now our postgraduate students are exposed to rotary endodontics in primary tooth with the use of rotary files 
the time taken for the pulpectomy procedure has drastically decreased and this can be seen with a two-fold increase in the total number of pulpectomy procedures done by our postgraduates. Very young, uncooperative and anxious children are also holistically treated under general anesthesia or conscious sedation on time in our department. This is possible only because of the art of facility of having an in-house operation theatre where we are allowed to work six days in a week. Hence, I can confidently say that the students who are trained in the Department of Pedodontic Savita Dental College can provide an effective, efficient and a comprehensive dental treatment for children anywhere across the world. The primary objective of any research is that the results of these researches should benefit the public in large. Hence, we decided to take research from the lab to the clinical practice. This has made us to change our scope, the methodology and the instruments used involved in the conducting these studies. So our postgraduates started to conduct systematic reviews and randomized clinical trials with long-term follow-up. This has helped us to in instituting painless dental care to our children. These have also been translated into publications in various PubMed and Scopus Index journals with high impact factors. In addition, our postgraduates have represented our department in various national and international conferences and have brought a call to the department. Conducting research has also helped us to locate the lacunae in the instruments and the equipments that are available in pediatric dentistry hence it has made us to design and devise instruments and equipments which have been patented and published. Our department also holds the pride of hosting the International Journal of Pedodontic Rehabilitation which has received manuscripts from across the globe. Not only that, the journal has entered into its fourth year of publication and is awaiting indexation from various databases. Hello everybody, I have been witnessing a constant growth in the department not only in clinics and academics but also in research. Being an alumni of Savita myself, I have been noticing a huge number of patients walking in and it have improved to almost 100 patients per day. Um, our postgraduate students perform more than 4000 procedures during their course that includes 700 plus pulpectomies and stainless steel crowns and more than 100 space maintainers. Uh, children who are very young, less than 4 years of old, we usually treat them under general anesthesia and conscious sedation for which we have an exclusive OT for pedo department and we operate almost every day. Undergraduate students of Savita are not less efficient. They, they are trained to perform complex procedures like pulp therapies and space maintainers which are usually considered to be under PG curriculum. They are also very well good and very well versed in behavior management because they play animated videos and cartoons in iPads and perform dental procedures in an efficient way. Uh, they are also very good in academics because we have started in introducing iBooks, flip classes and various other innovative teaching uh, videos to make them understand the subject very well and uh, gain interest towards the subject. I personally feel so students' exposure in Savita towards pediatric and preventive dentistry is enormously good.